What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy with JMed's Brick Clicks. I made a Lego John Deere Gator and no this is not it. This was my first attempt. So I wanted to show you that first. I love how this scales in comparison. Well, Donald's one of my favorite Disney figs so we'll use him. I love the size of this compared to like Lego tractors and other farm equipment. You can see I kind of use that for the railing. Uh, just a regular bed, no, no dump bed or anything. But doing this four by six um, design, the tires are just too small. When you take off two, then it just kind of looks like a little race car or a golf cart. <laughs> And yeah, that's not what I'm going for. So before I take this apart and put all the pieces back, I just wanted to show you kind of the, the process beforehand. Before I show you my, I think the one that I'm going to be satisfied on. So there's Donald. Okay. The one I ended up with, this one. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. But I think it needs those tires to make it look like an actual John Deere Gator a four by six vehicle where all four of the rear tires are pulling and the only thing that's not are the front two tires that are steering. So here's my design. Oh, I gotta put my exhaust out. Okay. I thought about doing a dump bed. I've went back and forth on it. I decided against it. I thought about doing a tailgate and just for structural ability and being kind of just more solid I just decided yeah whatever now I could have done uh plates or I'm sorry tiles across the top I might I wish I had more of these one by sixes in green but they're three bucks a piece if you look them up on Bricklink yeah three dollars for one piece it's a one by six green tile look it up <laughs> I bought a couple of them and three bucks a piece before shipping. So there's my front. We've got some lights with our little grill. I'll show you a picture here to kind of what I was going for. Um, originally, I had fenders going over the front and over the back. And then, nah, I tried to do make it two seats, but then the fenders weren't going to line up right. So I just did a wide seat and we'll just put one driver in there and he'll always be by himself when he's on the job. So what's with the pumpkins? Well, I needed something just for scale comparison. So maybe this one, this gator is hauling pumpkins. And this is just like the one that I drove. I worked at a state park called Johnson Shut-Ins State Park in Missouri, Southeast Missouri. And yeah, we had one of these. We did rescues where they could put a stretcher like this on the back. It would just slide right into the tailgate. And honestly, that's not that far off. I think one more stud probably would have made it work. But um, let's see if this will work. There we go. Yeah, so we did that for rescues near the water or on the trails and stuff. Pretty cool thing. Mine, the one I drove was diesel powered. So yeah, just a quick little design. Nothing special. Uh, just something I think I needed on my farm, since I've got all my all these other John Deere tractors and attachments and implements and other farming machinery that's all John Deere related. I wanted a Gator. Um, I'm sure there might be a couple better ones out there. I thought about doing the roll bar. Um, and cab on it and yeah I just no this is the one that I kind of grew up with driving it for a couple years so that's the one I made let me know what you think just a quick video I know it's not much to look at but uh, yeah it took a little bit of engineering to get it right at least from my mind let's pop Donald in there so he can get to work all right Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.